Welcome back everybody. We are back to some of the machine learning concepts. We are going to specifically talk about cardinality in this video. Now cardinality is a number that actually tells a lot of information. It is the total options for a particular feature and two different kind of ways to measure it. One is total possible options and then one is total options that you have in your data set. So the easiest one to start with is, let's talk about something that is binary, right? So if something's binary, this means it's in two states. So the cardinality of this would be two. An example of this is sex. So sex could be male or female. This is binary because there's only two options. Now. If we are counting the cardinality of a particular feature in our data set and everybody's a male, well, we would say that this feature has a cardinality of 1 and it's no longer binary. And that's because every single row has that value, so you can kind of think of the other value not existing, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Probably not. But it kind of makes sense, because if you think about it, if all of the people in our data set are males, then there's no females in our reality that we're making with our data set. Cool. Sometimes things aren't binary though and they have more options. So for example, if we had information about where someone lives, one of the features could be their state and this would have the cardinality of 50. But you know, if we took all of the people and no one lived in a Hawaii, for example, well then our cardinality for our data set would be 49 for that particular feature. So you can see that this one is like the total possible values and this one is the actual amount represented in our data set. And this is the one that we are going to care about. Sometimes it's not that simple and you don't have a very small number. Those features are generally known as continuous features. What we had before where there's a few number of options, those are known as categorical. So all features can fit within one of these groups, either categorical or continuous. An example of a continuous feature may be something like salary. For salary, someone might earn 65, 100. Another person might earn 65, 101. And it gets to the point where the number of instances or rows is very similar to the cardinality of salary. So for example, we might have 50,000 rows and everyone's earnings for like the last year, there might be 42 on 182 different values in that data set. So you can see that the number of different values is extremely high. Oh shoot, I totally forgot to turn my blazingly bright light bulbs on. Oh wow, that looks so much about the same. Hopefully this video helped you understand the difference between categorical and continuous features. This is going to come up again in the future. Right now it seems like, oh, what does this have to do with anything? But trust me, it will make sense once we start talking about algorithms. The cardinality is going to have a huge impact. So thank you for watching. In the next video, we're going to be talking about something called binning. So please be sure to check it out and be sure to subscribe.